Adam had sinned, he has eaten of the forbidden tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And, and, and there's something about that tree. Even the good part of it is still evil. There's so many people eating of the good part of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It is sourced in the devil. It is sourced in the flesh, in carnality. God said, no, 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 no. You can eat of any trees. You can even eat of the tree of life. But of this tree, you should not eat. You cannot eat. Hey, don't head of it. You know the story. But there's something I love about that little explanation there by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, and God drove Adam out of the garden. After God has cursed the ground for his sake, God drove him out. There is nothing God cannot drive out of your life. Today as you're watching, and as I'm going to see you on Sunday by God's mercy and grace, God is going to drive out of your life, of your body, cancer. He will drive out shame, sickness, disease, fear, oppression. God will drive out poverty. God Almighty will drive out barrenness. God Almighty is set to drive out joblessness, delaying marriage, prolonged singleness, divorce. God is going to drive out that grasshopper, locust, you know, that has been eaten deep into your business. God is said to drive them out. In Mark chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible says, And the Spirit driveth Jesus into the wilderness. When God drives out the devil, then he drives in the Holy Spirit. He drives in prosperity. He drives in righteousness. He drives in peace. He drives in abundance. He drives in fruitfulness. God is going to drive into your life joy and peace and abundance, and rejoicing, and success, and excellence. Watch out for it. He will do it by his word. Nobody can challenge God. One word said in, in, a, in my native language, said, Kabiosi, Kabiosi. Who can say what do is thou? I'll see you this Sunday, and listen to this testimony. Yours is on the way, and don't miss it. God bless you, Richard. Well, thank God for his favor and his mercy and grace in my life. I give God thanks and praise for my parents and Lord. I want to thank God because this summer I'm taking three courses and to glory of God, I passed one of them already, so I'm going on two more. Praise God for that. Amen. 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 I also thank God just for Johnny Mercy again for taking us to the Holy Land, safe and sound, you know, just showing us great and mighty things. So I give God thanks and praise. I thank God for my presence in the Lord and God's own assembly and grace and blessing. Amen. Amen.